The overall goal of this protocol is to isolate primary murine helper T cells and transduce them with retroviral expression constructs for a gene of interest. Many experimental systems have been utilized to understand the mechanisms regulating T cell development and function in an immune response. Here we describe a genetic approach using retroviral transduction, which is economic, time efficient, and highly informative in identifying regulatory pathways. We have used this technique to analyze the function of microRNAs, which are important regulators of gene expression. Using retroviral transduction, we have been able to test the function of individual microRNAs in helper T-cell differentiation. My collaborator, Oliver Garden, will be demonstrating primary T-cell isolation, and I will be demonstrating retroviral transduction. Twenty-four hours prior to transfection, split a confluent plate of cells at a ratio of 1 to 10 in a 10 centimeter plate so that the cells are about 50% confluent the next day. Approximately one hour prior to transfection, remove the medium from the cells and carefully add 9 milliliters of fresh HEC293T medium to prevent the cells detaching from the plate. In a 6 milliliter round bottom or a 15 milliliter conical tube, Add 5 micrograms of retroviral DNA, 5 micrograms of helper virus DNA, and water to a volume of 420 microliters. Then, add 80 microliters of 2.5 molar calcium chloride to bring the final volume to 500 microliters. After that, slowly add 500 microliters of 2x HBS drop-by-drop -drop to the DNA mixture while gently vortex.